Now keep all that extra energy bottled up a little while longer because we're going to show you how to get video out of CVS Pharmacy's one-time use camera. Even horrifying and embarrassing video. Oh God, that wasn't a, that wasn't. A good CVS Pharmacies, let me tell you about these guys. They sell a cheap digital camcorder for 30 bucks, not bad. Except you can't actually get the video off of it without going back to their store. Well, around these parts, we like to say, screw that. G4's famed broadcast engineer, David Randolph, has the technology and the wits to hack this camcorder to make it do your bidding. David, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank, thank you for, you. I, I know you moonlight as a hardware hacker, uh, and an excellent one at that. This is the CVS camcorder. Right, that's the one you get. Why are we hacking this thing again? Well, I don't like anything that's one use. So we want to use it as many times as possible. Mm. And it's, it's great. A little $30 camera instead of a $400 digital camera. Why pay someone to develop something which doesn't need developing, Exactly. All right, so how are we going to hack this thing? What do we, take us through it. What, what, are the, what are the steps? Well, if you remove the sticker off the top of the camera, which actually says it cannot be hooked up to a computer, yep. you'll <laughs> notice several pins in there that um, um, are all your USB pins, all four of them. And yep, what we're going to do down. is we're going to go ahead and take, uh, um, harvest a USB connector from an old, you know, hub or any old electronics you have laying around sure. your house. And we're going to dremel out a hole inside of your um, case, and we're going to mount the connector in there. Ah, so now has anybody actually done this? Has anybody with the CVS camcorder, to your knowledge, have they taken and actually mounted the USB connector right into the case? Um, I don't know of anyone that's mounted a USB connector. There's some haphazard hacks to try and get it, you know, connector in ah, there. All right. I want a professional look to this. Very nice. Well, it looks very nice. Even the attack of the show skin looks very nice, <laughs> I must say. So, so you mounted the USB connector. Um, it, that seems like a very simple hardware hack. I, I got to imagine they did something software-wise, though, to stop you from being able to get videos off. Right. You're going to need a little bit of software to make this all work. Uh, the first piece of software you're going to need is LibUSB, which is basically a package that lets you run the driver that we have to make. Okay, so we have to tell the driver to somehow talk to this particular camcorder? Exactly. And that LibUSB comes with a little program to test it, and what it does is it gives you a VID and a PID, which okay. is basically the serial number of the device. We take that and we plug that into the actual driver, which is a text file. Okay. And we put that information in there. So we're uniquely identifying this camcorder within that driver. Exactly. Very nice. So now we've got the driver installed. We can, I mean, I, I'm assuming we can hook this bad boy up to the PC and, and watch, a, watch a video that's been recorded? We need another piece of software okay. called Ops. All right. And what that's going to do for us is that after we plug the camera into it, we're going to be able to unlock, um, open the camera, then unlock the camera, and then we can download the movies. In fact, um, let's go ahead and download one right now. Yeah, I just, while you, were, while you were explaining that, I shot a quick little pan of the studio, so we should be able to see it. How We shut off the camera. Turn it off. And we'll Pop it in. Plug it in. It'll turn on automatically for you. So the camera right now thinks it's back in the safe, gentle, loving arms of a CVS employee, and it's actually being downloaded, but really, we're just ripping it straight in our living room. Exactly. Nice. I love it. So we're going to open the camera up. Okay. And it found the camcorder connected to it. We're going to unlock it. Nice. So we, we just, you know, hacked right into it, nice and easy. And we're going to download that last movie. Very nice. So now someone out there, obviously there's a, there, I mean, there's a bit of a CVS hacking community, I'm told. So someone actually created this program and put in all the functions that you want, like download last movie, unlock, crack, et cetera. Right. We're already on the fourth version of this. Wow. And so, it's, it's only about two weeks old. All right. So it said it just, uh, it grabbed it. So is it, I mean, is it simple double click? Simple Done. double and click. It's using XVID video. There it is. Oh, so it's nice and highly compressed for you? Exactly. Right, so we shot some stuff on the camera yesterday, and then we can take a look at it. The quality, unfortunately, isn't all that hot, so I'm, I'm surprised that they're making DVDs out of these. So what, what practical uses are there for this $20 disposable camera? Um, Text America. Beautiful for just uploading videos to that, web videos, things like that. But I really wouldn't use this for your home movies or anything like that. So right. You'd be disappointed. You're better off sketching your home, home precious memories than actually using this to archive them. Much higher quality. Very nice. Excellent hack, David. Very impressive. Thank you. Very cool stuff. Thank you for that. For the complete steps on how to hack your own CVS camcorder and for the movie that we just shot right here on the show, visit attackoftheshow.com. Now, last week... We introduce you to America's Army, the only official online game of the U.S. military, where enlisted men and women play among real gamers for an experience that's half multiplayer fun and half boot camp. Here's part two of our six-part series. 